I'd seen some of the kids in my school bully other kids before, but I'd never felt like I should butt in. If a kid didn't have the balls to stand up for himself, then they deserved whatever they had coming to them. But that morning I'd made the decision to leave home for good. Mom's current boyfriend had used her as a punching bag yet again, but this time, when I'd stepped in front of her, not only did she push me aside, but she defended the fucker. She said she deserved it. She even went as far as apologizing. To him. I hated her for that for becoming weak, for letting him lay his hands on her like that. I wanted to wail on John's face so bad that I sat on the side of the school during recess, clenching and unclenching my fists as I replayed that morning over and over again in my mind. I may not have been able to win in a fight against a grown man, but I was convinced I could have at least done some damage. So when I heard those words shouted from across the playground, it was like my anger had made the decision before I had a chance to really think about it. Before I knew it, I'd leapt across the sandbox and was on my way to a group of kids gathered in a circle on the far side of the yard next to the kickball field. I towered over all the other kids in my grade and could easily see over their heads. In the center of the circle was a brood of a kid named Tyler dark-haired boy who always wore band logo t-shirts with the sleeves ripped off. He was holding this skinny kid by the collar of his shirt, punching him in the face over and over again with his closed fist. The littler kid grunted each time Tyler made contact. The boy's ripped shirt rose up over his pale stomach, revealing bruises in varying shades of purple and yellow. His ribs were so visible I could count them. Blood dripped from his nose and fell to the ground. I pushed aside two little girls who were cheering on the beating. Kids can be fucking cruel. Adults can be crueler. I jumped in front of Tyler and cocked back my fist. With one punch to the bully's pimpled jaw, I knocked him flat on his ass. The back of his head landed with a thunk against the pavement. Out cold. I instantly felt better.